Whew, man, it's hot out here. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to hand you a profitable Fiverr business. This isn't like the other videos where they hint at something that doesn't really work. This is the real deal. But first, we gotta get to work. And for that, I got an important question. Should I take the Lambo, the Model T, or the Harley? Which one's your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Okay, now this is something that I came across by accident when I was searching for my rankings for the word Spamzilla. You see, this is a keyword that I want to rank for because I actually make lots of money with it. So the other day I was checking my rankings for Spamzilla and you could see right here we're ranking number 11. But there was something more important, more sinister, more evil going on on this page. Wait, wait. What is that? I will do keyword based best expired domain research, and it's a Fiverr link? Now, we've all heard of Fiverr. We know that people sing and dance and create things on Fiverr and make like, well, five bucks. But in fact, there's actually quite a few people making a lot of money. Here's someone, Charmaine Poick, making 38 to $48,000 a month on Fiverr. Or Levi Newman, who's making ten dollars to $15,000 a month. And on and on we go. Here's a voiceover artist making fifteen grand a month. So as we can see, Fiverr is no slouch. But I thought this was very interesting because on this keyword, I make a lot of money. And Fiverr is actually paying for an ad on this keyword. So naturally, I had to click it. This person is willing to do keyword-based expired domain research for $15. So she's gonna go out there and find a domain name or a couple domains in your niche that you can register that actually has some backlinks. Yeah, that's pretty much what I've been showing you the last couple days here on this channel. But wait, it gets better. Because if you go to Fiverr here and you type in expired domain, you can actually see that this is a big business. Here's a guy for $10, $20, $5, $65, $45, 50 and some of these gigs are as much as $245 or more. And you can see he's actually getting sales. In fact, all these people are, 44, 64, 110, 67, and on and on we go. Now you might be saying, yeah, Marcus, I get it. You go and find a domain and sell it on the Fiverr. And that is where you'd be wrong. Because you see, what I did is I actually put my money where my mouth is. And I spent close to $500 for these people to find domains to see what this is all about. And each and every one of these people was hired to find domains in niches that I chose. And actually, this guy just found random domains. So it was literally 75 bucks for him to find four random domain names. So let's see if these guys are doing a good job and if we could do better so that you can get involved in a business like this, plus add my stack method, which is going to show you my evil profit methods. <laughs> I'm an idiot. But no, these things will literally 10 20 or even 100x your profits. So watch the rest of this video to get those. But first, let's take a look at how these guys did and if it was worth the money. This is gonna be important. So the first one here is $105 for him to find one clear and relevant domain niche. The price was $20 each. I ordered four of them with a $20 rush fee so I can get them in time for this video. The niches I selected were weight loss, make money online, gardening, and software. And in his delivery, he actually gave me two to three domains for each niche I chose. The first one was for weight loss and exercise, partyforhealth.org. Let's take a look at what this looks like in our keyword tool, Ahrefs. We can see here, a URL rating of 17, domain rating of 3.1, zero organic keywords. Let's see if there's any movements and then we could take a look at what the backlinks are, if they're worth anything. Not a whole lot in terms of rankings and it looks like there's a couple of backlinks about some kind of event in Vancouver for health and weight loss or something like that. So all in all, for 20 bucks, it's not too bad, but I still gotta register for nine bucks, so I'm in this $30. 
The next one was diet and exercise for health. The backlinks on this one were a little bit better. We can see the overview here. This one had no URL rating, a domain rating of 2.8. The backlinks were okay, nothing to write home about, although this self-growth one's pretty cool. So we could turn this into a mini trampoline type website. And as for keyword movements, nothing. Next, we have make money online niche easywaytomakemoney.org. URL rating of seven, DR15, 170 backlinks. Let's see what these are about to see if they're even in the make money niche. And it looks like they're not. So let's check the movements, see if it ranked for anything. Not looking too good. Let's take a look at gmoney.ca with 111 backlinks, no URL rating, and a couple of referring domains. Let's skip ahead to the movements, see if anything stands out. Nothing, go to the backlinks, looks like a bunch of junk. And unfortunately, the rest of these looked pretty much the same. Now wait a minute, this one he found, okc.biz, actually was a pretty short domain. It had a lot of domain authority, a lot of page authority, a lot of good stuff going on here. And we could see that there's a lot of backlinks and it's a small domain, but when I went to register this, Namecheap wanted 975 bucks and GoDaddy wanted $1,200. And for that name, I don't think I'm gonna pay a thousand bucks, but I would definitely pay the $10 to register it. And luckily, this guy I bought from included a buy link where I could get this thing for 10 bucks. More about that in just a minute. That's a hack I just figured out after 22 years of doing this business. And the last one here in the software niche was BigToeSoftware.com. As you can see, not a whole lot going on here. So was this first order worth $105? Let me know what you think in the comments below and let's continue on. This next one is the random domain guy. So let's see if this guy working at random can find me some diamonds in the rough. The first one was some kind of name. Doesn't look too good and we don't really know what it's about. However, it did have a New York Times backlink, so that's gotta be worth something, or so you would think. The next one here, hectees.com, not seeing anything great on the backlinks. However, he does say there's a New York Times or New York Mag, Huffington Post, interesting. No recent rankings. The third one was Martins for NASA or something like that. Nothing on the rankings. A New York Times backlink, but it doesn't really go to much. And overall, it's not that great. And the last one here looks like it's about some kind of vacations. Backlinks are pretty much garbage. Got some kind of Huffington Post one. It does have some movements, but they're not very good. And here's the last one that cost $311.23. Let's go ahead and take a look at what he has. We'll just download the file like this. Open it over here, and we could see that he provided one, two, three, four, five, six domains. So let's take a look at these domains and see what's going on. First one was Achieve Fitness NY. Here we could see a domain rating of 2.4, seven on the UR, a couple of backlinks. Let's see if it had any recent rankings here to see if it'll actually boost us up in the search engines. It looks like there's a couple, but they're from like several years ago, so not gonna do very good. Okay, so that one is available. I like the next one here, because superfitchampionships.com, that's something that's sellable. It's nationwide as opposed to the other one, which is an NY, and it probably is gonna do pretty good. Let's see what kind of rankings it had, and it did have some backlinks. I think he said it had a backlink on muscleandfitness.com. Okay, cool, so that's a good backlink there. No rankings, which is kind of worrisome. I, I don't know why there would be no rankings. Usually if you have a backlink from a decent site, you'll rank for something. It might not be the greatest word, but it'll be something. And we could see here, Superfit Championships. It does have a couple of backlinks. Here's the one for Superfit Championships. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Okay, yeah, so muscleandfitness.com does have a backlink here. You can see down here, 
when I hover over this link, it's actually going to this domain, which is pretty cool, right? So I could buy this domain and then now I own that link. So let's see if it's available. It's available. So nine bucks, that's not bad. The next one here is fitgirlsmartini.com. Again, a backlink from muscleandfitness.com there. Let's take a look if it's available. It is. And let's take a look at the backlinks and if it had any recent rankings. Muscle and Fitness, Fast Five New. So it's got a couple of things there. Let's take a look at the movements. If it ranked for anything, that's usually a much better sign than one that didn't. And we could see that this one did have some rankings back in 2017. They're not great, but the fact that it does have a backlink on Muscle and Fitness, that's pretty good. That to me is probably worth like nine bucks. Let's take a look at the next one here which is Fat Soa Weight Loss Blog. Fat, Fat Soa Weight Loss Blog, okay. It looks like it has one on shape.com. Let's take a look at recent rankings and backlinks for this one. Okay, is Rachel Ray fat? That's a pretty decent ranking there. Looks like it's all about Rachel Ray weight loss stuff, which is usable. I, I could use this. This tells me a little bit about the site. We have some other rankings here. And here's a ranking from just a couple months ago. Let's go ahead and take a look at the backlinks. Diet Go, Diet Go. So this is definitely the better of the ones we've seen so far in this $311 buy. So that one's pretty good. Let's see, it is available. Fat Soa Weight Loss Blog. Yeah, so that's available. So we got that one for nine bucks. Let's take a look at the next one fuelingyourfitness.com. Now that is a sellable name. I like that name, definitely sellable. If it has backlinks and everything, then this guy did a good job. Okay, let's see if it's available. It is, we'll add it to cart. And let's take a look at our backlinks over here. He says that this one has a backlink on menshealth.com. So let's see, we got diet to go, shape, sweetscape, diet spotlight. This is actually a pretty decent one. Let's see if he has the men's health one. It actually has a lot. This is looking pretty good. Now he said it's on menshealth.com, what happens when you transform your body. So let's do men's health and see if we can find that one backlink. I'm not seeing that specific backlink, but it's a chance that the, the software is not picking it up. So let's go ahead and click the link that he put in the deliver email. So men's health here. And we're looking for fueling your fitness. And there we go. So it does have a ranking here for fueling your fitness, which means this guy actually did his homework, which is pretty good. The next one here is georgelloydfitness.com. Again, menshealth.uk. Let's take a look here. And also we forgot to take a look at the rankings here for fuelingyourfitness.com. It's got a couple rankings, nothing to write home about. Let's double check the backlinks again because I think there was an error in the last search I did, which meant that it didn't, there it is. Okay, yeah, so this is Men's Health Press Herald Tribune. So this is actually a pretty good one. So I think all in all, this guy found me six domains in the weight loss niche as requested. Now I can register these guys right now for $54. So I'm in this thing about 360 so far, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to make money on this, not spend money. Because this guy, he didn't spend much at all to find these domains. In fact, he probably used some tools he had laying around that cost less than 50 bucks anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and register these so that we get these domains. Congratulations, if you made it this far in the video, you've actually learned a lot more than you thought you did, and now it's time to put this together and start your own business for free or like 30 bucks. It's actually very inexpensive, and you can do this in a real world way. Now, if you wanna do this with no cost, what you're gonna use is a site like expireddomains.net alongside your favorite free keyword tool. You can use like Uber Suggest or a free trial of SEM Rush or the Ahrefs free keyword tool or any keyword tool that's gonna show you the backlinks and the rankings of certain sites. Now, on different stuff like this, on expired domain names, you can actually see some of the rankings. So this is like backlinks, I believe it is. Um, this is gonna show you the DMOs, all different kinds of rankings and things like that. And then it'll show you if it is in fact 
available. So if you wanted to do this, you could go through and say, hey, I got a domain in the budgeting niche, brewmybudget.com, or you could go through and kind of find all these domains. Now, this is a free method, which means it's gonna take a heck of a lot more work to find these domains. Now, if someone wanted like a horse one, we could do equestrian or something like that. So we could take a look and we could see exactly what's out there. Now, if you wanna do this the right way and actually allow this business to put you a step further in your domain, SEO website business. Like if you want to turn this into a real thing here, what you can do is you can utilize this to fund your tools and fund your domain finding process. Here's how it works. First of all, if you want to do this the right way, there are two main tools you will need. First, you're going to need Spamzilla. Okay, this is $30 a month. You can go uh, to spamzilla.com and get my rundown on how this works. Very simple, very easy. What this is gonna do is instead of going to expired domains, this is gonna sort them for you and it's actually gonna show you the ratings, the backlinks, everything like that. It's also gonna show you if they have a spam score, which is important to these people buying the domains. The second thing you're gonna need is a good keyword tool. You can do a paid keyword tool like Ahrefs or SEMrush or whatever it is you want. I use a combination of all of these. Now, these tools can be kind of expensive, but don't worry because all we need is one sale at $245 each and every month and it pays for all the tools. If we get two sales, we double our money. If we get four, well, you get the idea. And here is where this is gonna start to get good because we need to ask ourselves the question, based on what you just watched over the last 15 minutes, do you think that with what I teach you, you can do better than the $500 I spent at Fiverr? And if the answer is yes, well then, ladies and gentlemen, you have the start of a profitable business. And let's go ahead and put it to the test. Let's say I wanted to find a good domain in the workout niche that had some good backlinks. What I'm gonna do is type something in like workout or workouts. That's gonna show us all the domains that are available with the word workout. We could see remoteworkoutpost.com. We can take this, put it into our keyword tool like this, and we could see here what the backlinks look like. Instead of 20 backlinks, like the one that guy found, this one actually has 71. Here's one for TechCrunch, and it looks like this was actually a startup business for remote workouts. That is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the movements here and see exactly what's going on, if there was any rankings. Looks like it ranked under the guy's name, and let's take a look at the overview. It's got a UR rating of 29. Looks like some kind of remote work outpost, some kind of work live stream. Looking pretty good so far, and that only took me about four seconds to find. We also have six week workout program. We can put this in our Ahrefs tool, right like this, 19.8. It's got some backlinks here. Let's take a look at the movements. If it had movements around these, which it does, this is looking pretty good. And if we take a look at the backlinks here, we can see 37 groups of links. Looks like it is stuff about weight loss, weight training, running. These are all relevant backlinks, which is really, really good for this niche. And again, we're at about two minutes and I've already found two really good ones. Another little tip you can do in your Spamzilla tool is arrange these by Ahrefs positions. This is gonna show us the ones that actually ranked for stuff. Now, some of these will be junk, but if you weed through, you can find some good ones. Workoutwolf.net. Looks like some kind of workout routine here. It does have some backlinks. Let's take a look at the movements since Spamzilla actually says there were some rankings. Ah, where can I get multi G5? Looks like this is all about different workouts. So based on what I'm looking for and what these people on Fiverr are looking for, this domain right here is worth more than the other ones, probably combined. So that's three good domains in like five minutes. Let's keep looking. Here we have maxworkoutsreviewed.org. Let's take a look at the movements here. Max workouts. 
looks pretty good. It's got some movements, which is excellent. Let's take a look at the backlinks. 31 different backlinks from press release websites, all kinds of health websites. This is looking pretty good as well. And let's take a look at the overview here. Not a great overview, but I'm gonna let that slide because some of these backlinks and some of these rankings are pretty good. And of course, if you're using the SEMrush keyword tool, you can highlight all these like this, put them into a domain extractor, it'll extract the domains, then you just put them in here like this, and this is gonna show you the backlinks and everything at a glance. Workouts to lose weight fast. 222 backlinks. Let's see how it looks in a Ahrefs. Not looking too good. Let's take a look at the movements. We might skip this one. Yeah, I'm probably gonna skip this one. We could take a look at first place workouts, first place fitness, cross grip. It's got some rankings, which is a good sign. Let's take a look at the overview. Looks okay. And the backlinks look like a bunch of garbage. Next, Express Workouts. It's got some workout type backlinks. Overview's not that great. Movements, non existent. Shoulderworkouts.net. This is actually pretty specific, so it should have some recent rankings. Actually, doesn't. So, telling me they didn't do much with this site. Let's take a look at the overview and everything. Looks like a bunch of spam and garbage. Let's keep looking here. And of course, since this is the workout health niche, we can even do something like weight loss or weight. Organize these by domain rating or even the positions. Fastest weight loss 2021, losing weight, gaining life. And we could go through and see exactly what these are ranking for and exactly what's going on. There's one weightlosscompetition.com, that's sellable. Here's one with a 5.5. Got some decent backlinks here. Let's see if they're any good. Meal planning magic. Looks like this is a bunch of blogs related to losing weight. Let's take a look at our movements. Gaining life, that's okay. I'd probably look a little bit more to see what I can find like this one here for weight loss competition. Maybe there's a lot of people linking to the competition, hopefully, and there's not. So we'll keep looking. Here we have Rapid Weight Loss DVD, weightliftingstation.com, all kinds of different domains, and a lot of these can be sellable. Here's some movements around a specific type of weight loss DVD, some good rankings, 25, 23. Now they are older rankings from 2017, but let's take a look and see if the backlinks are still intact, because this one could be a winner. Nothing super great. There is some spam on here, but it might be good for like a P90X type offer. Let's try Weightlifting Station. This one has some rankings that are not targeted, which just probably means the backlinks are no good. Looks like a bunch of junk, but sometimes there's some good rankings in there that, that stand out. Here's another one with 1 1.4 thousand backlinks. Let's take a look at our movements here. And the weight planners, that's actually pretty good. Looks like this was all about personal trainers, which means it'll probably have some specific localized backlinks which can be good for rankings as well. So as you can see here, we were able to find five or six good domains in the weight loss niche like that. And if I wanted to sell this and say, hey, I'm gonna do these at random, let's just do random domains for 20 bucks each like that one guy, then all I would have to do is go through, select a filter like this, I'll go to main or whatever filter I like, and then I could go through and just organize these by domain rating. And the ones with the domain ratings that are good, we could actually go through and see that they are gonna have backlinks because that's why it has the domain rating. So we could go through and say, hey, these look good, these don't look good, and we can sell them all day long till we're blue in the face and make money. Now, what I would recommend to you is that you wanna go and do this the right way because my guess is, is if you follow what I teach you here on this channel, you can find these domains like that and you can actually find better domains that are more targeted for specific niches that people ask for. What you wanna do is you wanna charge either a little bit less or maybe a little bit more to see where the sweet spot is. For me, I would probably go out there and say, hey, I'm gonna go like this guy and I will find you niche specific domains for 
$50 each or whatever it is. Then you don't even have to register them, but if you do, that's a little bonus. Now there is risk if you register them, because if I register five, that's gonna cost me 50 bucks. If he ends up not paying me, then there could be a problem, but that's pretty rare. But if you register them, he's going to feel like you did him a great service. You can transfer him over and then you can even help him out with more SEO stuff. So what you want to do for the evil plan here <laughs> is start this out. Maybe start out at $10 a domain and don't register them. Say, hey, here you go. Here's your list of domains and go above and beyond. Maybe find him six if you promised him three or 10 if you promised him seven or something like that. Then include something in the delivery that says, hey, if you like this SEO stuff, check out this other link. That can be an affiliate link or a link to something else you can help them with. Maybe you can build them a site. Maybe you can show them where to register through your affiliate link. Maybe you can give them web hosting, which pays up to $100 to $300 when people get web hosting, which you need for your domains anyway. And if you start to do this and build and grow, this is a business that can help you afford other things. If this was me, what I would do is I would do the method where I actually register the domains for the other people. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna look at the domains and as I'm looking at them, I'm gonna buy maybe 20 if he ordered 10. That way he can choose and maybe he'll say, I don't want that one. Okay, how about this one? Then I got 10 in my pocket. This is for my future bank account. And if I have good domains, as you've seen, I sell these all the time and make a fortune. And what's gonna happen is using Fiverr, this is going to fuel and fund your domain buying business. So if you're worried about spending 300 bucks a month on tools, all you need is one sale. If you're worried about having money to buy a bunch of domain names like your old buddy Marcus here, don't worry about it. You can sell this stuff and make it work in a super simple way. Now, the tools we're looking at is Spamzilla, Ahrefs, and perhaps SEMrush. Um, you can do this for free if you want. Start it out, do the $10 one, do it for free. Um, you can do the rankings. You can take a look at these and say, hey, you know what, maybe Maybe this equestrian one looks good. And then all you gotta do is go to Google. You just search your domain like this, and then you can find all the different places that that site actually shows up. And this could show you backlinks. Now, using tools is gonna be a lot better, but you can also see like this here, used to be a business that was in Florida. So that's pretty good, right? They probably got backlinks all about equestrian stuff. And let's take a look at what it looks like. Equestrianinsider.com. Looks like it's got some rankings. I don't know what these are about, but we could go through and take a look at the backlinks and see if they're related to horse stuff. And it looks like they are, like lessons and stables and stuff like that. So for a horse type site, this would actually be a pretty okay domain. It is available for $9, and the GoDaddy appraisal tool says it's worth like 1200 bucks. Now, if you like this method and you're gonna go use it, type Fiverr in the comments below and let me know. And make sure you watch this video again because there were some little nuances and tricks that you probably didn't catch. Oh yeah, and here's another little tip for you. Remember that OKC.biz domain that was like $1,200? I was able to buy that over at Seekahost.com for like 10 bucks. I'll keep you posted on how that goes, but it looked pretty cool. Hopefully it gets put in my account because I just bought it yesterday. But as you can see, this business is fun. It's something anyone can do. And it's something where if you only made 10 sales a month doing this at 250 bucks, that's enough to like pay your mortgage or something like that. So have fun, enjoy, smash a like button, and binge watch my other domain videos in the description.